All right, Paul Hefty here with the Triangle O football system. I want to talk about our wide, our spread, and some motion alignment adjustments. Uh, we'll tell you how it works, and then we'll look specifically at, at our wide alignments with our receivers, a spread with our H, and then some spread motion, and then last, a wide stack. All right, let's look at these alignment adjustments and why, what, and how we're going to do it. Again, as always, our number one goal is to evolve our teaching and our learning to simplify for the players. So why we're doing this, uh, we're going to do these wide alignments with our receivers to stretch the defense horizontally and makes them pick between a run or a pass focus then. It's really simple and sound. There's no new routes to learn. And the focus here is on box numbers. Hopefully, it creates conflict for the defense which will also then create some explosive play opportunities for you as an offense, whether it's through the run or the pass of the RPOs. What we're gonna do real simple is we're just gonna stretch those wide receivers, the X and the Z specifically, where they're gonna be outside the numbers and we'll bring the A out, a out there also. Um, we'll do some spread sets then too, where we can detach the H back from the O-line and basically make him a wide receiver and spread him out. Last, with these spread and these wide calls, we can actually motion the back, our H back back into the box using our steer and our drive calls. How we're gonna do this is we'll just add these simple signals to adjust the alignments and get that horizontal stretch of the defense, but there's no new route learning. We just adjust the stem of our routes. All right, the first one here is our duo right with our, our base wide call. The way you'll signal this is your uh, normal duo right is the left-handed peace sign, and because we do opposite, uh, so it's as the players see it. But then you'll just simply take both hands and put them out wide from the body. That's your wide signal. That tells them the X and the Z who normally line up on the numbers, they're going to line up four yards from the sideline and widen out. The A will also now go from the hash mark to four yards inside the numbers. So we get a great stretch with our wideouts. Again, nothing will change um, with the play call or the play techniques. We go to trio, our three by one, nothing changes. We use our trio call, the H comes over, but if we add the wide, then Z and X again, four yards from the number, uh, from the sideline, and then the A is four yards inside numbers so a great stretch by two by two or three by one if we want to spread the H out and detach him from the O-line we just simply add a spread call this is our normal core formation calls again the signal there is this would be a dual right spread wide we're going to take the peace sign for dual right and in this case since it's right we'll take our left hand and just spread it out wide from the body and then we add both hands out wide for the wide call. So again, Z and X, four yards from the sideline, A, four yards from the numbers. And now we have the H just split the difference between the X and the offensive tackle to the side. Now, if we want to bring that H back in, a great way to do this, again, is use your freeze cadence. So we'll go ahead and do that dual right spread wide. Simple signal. We'll go ahead and do the first cadence. If we see then they've come out with us or we want to call a play where we need the H in the box, then we'll just simply do our steer signal, which is both hands with fists side by side next to each other and just motioning back and forth horizontally like you're steering uh, a rudder. Again, that means steer means he's going to go back to the same formation he was originally in. So he would go back to the dual right. So we'd start the cadence, he'll motion in, he'll turn and get to um, a squared up to the line of scrimmage on his motion to his original dual right alignment, and we're off. You wanna use motion again, it's great to use the freeze, but we wanna go ahead and flip from a two by two over to a three by one. You simply just do use the drive call or signal, and that is now, as if you've got both hands and fists out front hanging on to a steering wheel going up and down like you're driving a car. Now we're going to motion across and get to our trio set and again square up to the line of scrimmage 
slow down to a shuffle, get to your original trio set by the time we snap the ball. We can actually add our stack system here where we just use our wide call, but we're going to stack now the A with the Z, so he's one yard, essentially five yards from the sideline now. Um, real simple here. Use your wide call and stack. We're going to combine with a signal with our hands stacked on top of each other, way up over our head. That represents a wide stack call. So again, all that does is Z and the X are still four yards from the sideline, but the A now is going to come and be one yard from the Z stack out there. We can combine everything with a maximum stretch here and go a dual right spread wide stack. Again, we're just going to do our spread dual right spread signal with our peace sign away from the body. So that'll bring the H out, but then we'll do the hand stack up over the head, high over the head. Now the A is going to stack again one yard from the Z, but the H will also stack one yard from the X. So maximum, maximum stretch with a stack call. Again, these are some simple ways to adjust your alignments, uh, do some movement and motion with your H, but still keep your core RPO system alive. Simple, sound, fun, and fast. Thanks.